Hey guys, I'm Vegar, and in today's video you are going to learn about the 4 main types of classic socks that we have, how to always pick the right color of socks for your outfit, and the rule to match the correct sock type with your shoe type. So there's basically 4 types of classic socks. The first type out is the liner sock, or invisible sock as some call it. Next we have tube socks which are also called tennis socks. Third we have the quite unusual over the calf type. And the last type is of course the very common dress sock. So in this video we're going to start with liner socks. These are basically socks that you would wear inside low build shoes like loafers, sneakers or boat shoes. These socks are for a number of reasons a good alternative to going sockless which is a renowned casual look. First off, the fabric in these socks helps prevent chafing blisters, which is a common problem in shoes that rub against your heels or toes. And second, the fabric also helps your feet breathe on warm summer days and thus preventing foot odor to some degree. These socks are also great for men who are self-conscious about their toes because they will cover your toe and heel if you have to take your shoes off in front of others during the day. These socks by the way, they are considered super casual and that's because showing bare legs or feet in any sort of formal locations is considered inappropriate. And that's why you should wear liner socks only on occasions where it's appropriate to wear shorts or summer pants. These socks are great. I love them because they are dirt cheap, they are comfortable, and unlike many ankle socks, they don't slid down under your heel when you're exercising. So tube socks are if possible even more casual than liner socks, and that's mainly because it's a sports garment. And as we know, sports garments should only be wear to the gym or when we're wearing trainers, but we're gonna talk more about that later in this video. A good pair of tube socks should have a wide elastic band. They should also be fairly long, as most of them are one size fits all. In addition to that, they should have a thick high-grade cotton fabric which will provide for some shock absorption when active. So the third type of classic socks is called over-the-calf socks, mainly because that's what they do, they do go over the calf. So I believe that these socks are developed for super formal occasions when showing your legs are way inappropriate. And the reason for this is that even when you're sitting down and your pants slide up, they will cover your leg. These over the calf socks are both solely for this video and that's because I avoid this dilemma altogether by wearing shirt stays that clasp onto my shirt and socks and thereby my leg is kept out of sight all through the day no matter what. If you by the way would like to learn more about shirt stays like the one I'm wearing you can check out my shirt stay tutorial by clicking the link on the screen or down below this video now. So the last of the four types of classic socks are these and they are dress socks. So dress socks are socks are basically used every day with all kinds of casual and formal pants. And dress socks, like most other socks, typically come in both plain weave and ribbed weave. Personally, I prefer plain weave dress socks because they look more formal than ribbed weave dress socks. But I can still use my plain weave dress socks to casual locations without a hitch. So these dress socks are obviously black, but I do have them in several other solid colors as well. And the rule that helps me decide which color socks I should choose for a specific outfit is what we're going to talk about next. So here is the super easy and classic way of deciding what colors your socks should have. And the rule is simply to wear socks in a solid color that's similar to that of your pants. And here the keyword is similar. So with my black dress socks, I simply wear all my black and navy blue dress pants as well as my dark and black jeans. Also with light grey and grey pants, I use grey socks like this. And if I'm wearing a pair of khaki colored cargo pants like this, I'll probably also opt in for a pair of beige socks like this. And next we're going to look at how we can pick the right type of socks depending on what type of shoes we are wearing. So to make it easy for myself, I've divided shoes into three different categories and I only use one type of sock for each category. And the category are semi-formal and formal shoes and boots, which I always use dress socks for. The second category is casual shoes, and for that category I always use liner socks if I don't choose to go sockless. And lastly we have athletic shoes like trainers, and for those I always use tube socks. So to me a semi-formal or formal shoe and boot is anything from sneakers to boots. Basically all types of shoes I would wear dress socks with are sneakers like this, open or closed lacing leather shoes like this, and all kinds of casual and formal boots.
So next up are casual shoes. So when I say casual shoes, I basically mean all shoes that are mainly used for leisure activities. And classic examples of casual shoes that I would use either liner socks or go sockless in are loafers like this, boat shoes, and of course sneakers. So you may notice that sneakers are in both the dress socks and the liner socks category. And what kind of socks you're wearing with sneakers really depends on what kind of bottoms you're wearing. So if you're wearing shorts, I would go with liner socks. However, if I'm wearing jeans or a casual pair of dress pants, I would definitely go for dress socks. And as you also may notice, sandals aren't represented in this category. And that's because sandals with their open toe design really don't permit the use of socks. So that basically means no socks when you're wearing sandals. So the last of the three categories of shoes are athletic shoes. And as I've already said, tube socks should only be worn for shoes intended for sports. So that's all I had to show you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. If you have a request or a question, please post it as a comment in the comment field below because I think it's awesome hearing what you have to say. Also, if you found this video helpful, please click the button below and leave a like. It really helps me out. Now click on this window to watch my next video. Or click on this window to get my future video updates and to become one of the classic guys here on my channel today.